it going. It's gonna be a good show. So here we are uh, in the Brandon Mobile, heading from the Teak House to the show. What are your thoughts, Brandon? Do you feel like this is gonna be the culmination of your work in comedy? What I'm gonna do is I am going to swallow a knife. Hopefully that'll kill me with minimal effort. If not, uh, I am prepared to chew on my back molar, which has a cyanide capsule. So it's a live staged uh, suicide. Yeah, I, I will literally kill tonight. Interesting. Myself. I think I, ran, I just ran a red light. That you did. But it's not a big deal because my tags are expired and I don't have insurance, so we're fine. You're poised to run over a pedestrian too. Poised. Yeah. In his defense, he deserved it. <laughs> you don't stand in the fucking street. <clears throat> okay, these guys are just gonna. Alright. Just... I'm a patient guy. If I need to record my CD DVD combo, I got fucking pedestrians. Are you hoping this DVD is gonna be a big uh, seller? Uh, it will not be. And here's the problem I didn't even sell the show out to make the DVD, so I know the DVD is gonna do like less than that. I just. I just want my album to do better than Dane Cook's first album. I only, I've only got to sell like 10 million copies to do that. Right. That was a triple platinum album. Like 3 million what? copies. Right. That's even less than I thought. Okay. <laughs> I tell everyone I know, and they tell 3 million people, we'll probably sell that album. Is it being released by Warner's Brucker Records? What? <laughs> what is that? I don't know that company. Did you make that up? <laughs> Worcestershire sauce? Is that what you tried to say? That's a hard word. I'll let you ask me that question again. Is it being uh, released by Warner's Brothers? Uh, Warner's. I know you think you're asking, <laughs> but uh, the answer is no. I am self-releasing this out of uh, my own pocket, uh, my left pocket, because my right pocket does not have money in it. When you have the physical copies of the album, is that going to make your car uh, any dirtier? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I plan to litter my car with the plastic things that they wrap CDs in unnecessarily. If your life is so bad you gotta steal a fucking CD, you, you deserve to have that CD. <laughs> and I hope it was a Nickelback CD. So, you prepared for the show? Do you have uh, your jokes figured out? I don't have any jokes figured out. Are you gonna be just improvising? It's gonna be, uh... I'm going to improvise the jokes I know. I'm gonna find a way to get into them. And, uh, see, this would be good if I was doing this show for two nights. Like mm -hmm. if I, this was my trial run, and then tomorrow we could do the real thing. But I'm just gonna fuck off and, and just try to do it one time. This is my first campus show, my first non-alcoholic show, and I think I can do it on the first try. Like that's. That's a level of arrogance that no one should have going into anything. How do you think uh, this will be different with the audience not having any alcohol tonight? I think they're going to be less apt to laugh at the fucking horrible things. They, like if I tell a rape joke, they're like, that's not funny because one of them was probably raped. <laughs> and she's going to be a bitch and ruin it for everyone. But if raped she... again. I see. Oh. Are we going on to a military base? Yes. I don't know why I had to make that much sound to generate one ticket. <laughs> it's like a 21 gun salute, but twice, like a two gun salute. Hey, hotties! Are you anticipating this to be your best uh, performance thus far in your career? Ah. Uh, I refuse to answer that. It's so poorly phrased. <laughs> Yeah. This is the most
piano will be played all night. Around that corner of the vending machine. Yeah. That mic doesn't sound very loud at all. I think it was cutting in and out. I don't think it was talking to the guy. Okay. Uh, Wanna go to the sound booth? Sure. Yeah, sound booth. But you're you're happy with the reaction the audience is giving so far? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, anytime you can hear them through a wall, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's real loud. Where do you go to the sound booth? You gotta come. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm not sitting in that shitty green room. Say that. Okay. Well, <laughs> you mean math room? <laughs> well, earthquake proof seniors only room. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's go, dude. Going up to the sound booth. Big comedy show. Should have bought a uh, Kennedy camera. It's <laughs> not, you not mine. What? Oh, you're, oh, you're saying that. Yeah. We don't need that sort of opinion. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you should have uh, bought a Kennedy camera. I thought he was going to rush into the last second and just beat our asses. <laughs> you should have bought a gallon of uh, you Clarisel. You should have bought it whatever it is you can hang around your neck that makes women want you to be around their pussy. Is it a V-neck shirt? That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Get with it, dude. I've never seen this part of the world. I like my thing here because I don't just go in the secret way. This way that we completely shut the door out. Yeah. Hey, by the way. Mom donated like 80 some odd dollars. Yeah. Oh. Give me a hundred. Very much that is. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Plus three. Yeah. Mom's a good man. Good woman. <laughs> <laughs> she is a woman, definitely. <laughs> oh my god. Shut the fuck up. We can't have we can't have all these guys in here. Okay. Ethan Joyner's on stage right now. He's really funny. He's killing it. I'm gonna kill it soon. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what joke I'm opening with. I don't know what joke I'm closing with. I, I know that one of them involves breast cancer. I can't remember the order. I think I'm just gonna say little punchlines. Uh, and leave. And then we'll just do it in post. Probably is what's gonna happen. Or I'm just gonna do all my premises, like just walk in. Hey guys, what do you call a black guy with a stereo in his hand? And then just leave. And then I'll just come up with punchlines next month or something. I don't need that pressure. It's a good show. They're small, but they're ready. Stan Silliman started the show off, got him laughing. Spencer kept it going. Jake, Jake McKenzie just kept it going. Zach Smith kept it going. Nathan Joyner. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slow this comedy train down to a screeching halt. I'm going to kill all the momentum you guys have built. Because I'm not, I'm not about piggybacking. I'm just going to kill all the momentum and then I'm going to start from scratch. This suit is new. I've never worn this suit. I'm never telling these jokes again. It's a, lot, it's a night of nevers. I'm gonna put my penis in the freshman after this. I swear to God.